so uh, Londo Gabe here. Uh, again, if you've caught a few of these, uh, we've done a couple reviews. We're actually out camping, uh, taking a break from the heat down in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, we have some, some uh, prop hands that uh, want to get in the picture, hey. if you can't see or not. But, hey. uh, uh, we've tried to, we've selected a couple beers. Uh, this one we've, uh, we're gonna try is a, uh, it's from Belching Beaver Brewing Company. And uh, they're out of Vista, California. These guys have been throwing beer down since uh, 2012. Um, but the story that I read up is this guy is just, uh, he's been brewing beer for quite a while and had the opportunity to uh, uh, get vested with some of the other San Diego brewers. Yeah. And so, a great uh, place for beer. Oh, of course, uh, San Diego is a big mecca, uh, in my opinion, for craft brewing. Uh, they put out a lot of great beers and they have a lot of great breweries. Um, so this is called their uh, Rabbit Beaver. Give me a minute. There is a <laughs> we, we got a we got a squirrel here. Squirrel. <laughs> we got a Rabbit Beaver. <laughs> this is a Rye Indian Pale Ale. Uh, it's a seven percent on the ABV and sixty on the IBU. Um, they're gonna have uh, some Simcoe hops as well as the Rye, obviously. Um, this is a silver and a gold winner uh, in, in different events as well. So. Uh, hey, this is being from San Diego. I don't mean to interrupt you. Being from San Diego, man, that's no joke. No, some good beers that come out well, of San of course. Diego. And and, and they, the the brewer, I can't remember the, the, his name honestly. Just looking at some of the uh, the information on the brewery, uh, he's he's been uh, mentioned as is uh, with company is from folks from Stone, nice. from uh, Ballast Point, and I know I think there's one other one that I'm missing from. Uh, so he's in good company. Obviously, uh, craft beer. What's great about craft beer, and we mentioned this before, it's not being competitive. It's a community, and they just want to help people put out good beer. Yeah. So what's cool, what I and I've been seeing more like some local breweries here, and I know they've done it in uh, in uh, in California is collaboration beers, where two breweries will actually come together and design a recipe together and develop it together, and then just shoot it. I've seen it a lot more often, especially in the last couple. Months. Yes. Which is great to see because I mean, in so many industries, you don't see competition. No, and, what's, that with one and the way I look at it is, okay, everybody's putting an, IP, an, uh, uh, an IPA, everybody's putting out stouts, everybody's putting out porters, everybody's putting out saisons. What they're doing is, that, uh, let's not get complacent with the style of beers we're doing. Let's make, a, let's like say, a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Let's come up with something different, yep. different flavor profiles. If you want to mix an IPA with the saison or, you know, uh, any type of other different yep. uh, combination. It's ingenious if you really think about yep. it because they're... They don't want to be complacent. They want to keep the craft industry and the craft family moving forward and, pro and producing great beers with great flavors. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to come crack into this again. Rapid Beaver, it's a rye IPA it's a magic trick. Uh, again, IPAs we've had on here. I've honestly have never had a rye. Um, being outdoors, beaver, woods, rabbit. I, I, I don't know. We might see a rabbit beaver run around. Actually, I, saw, I saw one took we off with our, saw, beer saw, our bottle opener. We saw an Ewok run through <laughs> here earlier. Uh, nice orange color yeah. to it. Almost like a, an apricot type color. And a relatively new brewery. Yeah, 2012. I right. I'm drinking from my cup. It's out here sprinkling a little yeah. bit out north. We here. are outdoors. This is this, we don't have money for uh, for stage props or Hell no. or a sound studio yet. So this is the Doesn't real deal. Be. As long as it's the beer and a cup or a bottle, you're good to go. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, you definitely taste the rye. Definitely, that's not taste. I'm sorry. You smell, smell that it, rye. Yeah. I don't know if I taste hops in that. Well, I mean, I can taste, I can taste the bitterness. Yeah. Um, well, but so. I also do taste uh, the rye, and I think the rye might be coming forward a little bit more than the hops on this. Yeah. Because it is very. Uh, I don't know what the word I want to use is. To me, and I, yeah, it's really tough to explain the taste of rye, um, but um, it kind of gives it like an earthier. Um, grainy, grainy or taste. That's, yeah. Okay, that's a good. Then like, that's a good then, term then for like it. you would like your wheats or your, uh, you know, your pales or your two row malts or anything like that. Rye gives it a bit of a different flavor to it, and the problem almost like a bread note type type there. You're gonna still kind of get that relation to it if you if you want to put if you want to put a you know a description on it. That's kind of what I'm I'm trying to get out of it. But yeah, and I'm trying to get that hop. The problem is what I'm coming across with this is I'm tasting more of that rye and everything else and not as much hop as I was hoping with an IPA. Um, yeah. Still one to five, what do you got? One to five? 
you know, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't impress me at all. I mean, I want to bag on the brewery, but it doesn't impress me at all as an IPA. Um, I'm trying to cut it some slack because of the rye flavor, and I know what, I think they're maybe trying to go for something a little bit different, right. which, which I respect, um, but I don't think they hit anything on it. So on a scale of one to five, I, I, it hurts me to say it, but two and a half. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not Just overly not impressed. Flavor. Yeah, I mean, if I were to do tasters, maybe, of a uh, of beers and I had it, I'd feel bad not drinking the rest of the taster. Like this bottle, I don't want to bag on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to drink the rest I'm of the gonna bottle. I'm going to finish here. it. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> so Obviously. two and a half. I, I'm going to give it honest three. Um, not that it, I, I don't know. Again, it's new to me, the rye. Um, I, I don't mind the flavor. It's just something that I guess it's a little more complex than I'm used to. Uh, maybe that's why it's gotten some of the reviews and the medals that it has. Maybe my taste buds aren't yeah. too far yet. Yep. You know what I mean? It's it's just one. I, I'm not used to it. Uh, so it, rather than give it a very bad uh, review, I'm just going to keep it in a good midline and yep. give it a three. Yep. It, everybody's know. palate's different. Yeah. You know, what might be a five for you could be a one for me and Obviously. vice versa. Yeah. You know, so just not that it's a bad beer. No, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I tried it. it. I mean, yep. I'm glad I tried it. I've never had a beer, uh, beer from this brewery. Um, and pretty pretty kick-ass graphics on their on their logo. Yeah. You know, it's it's a very genius. But uh, I'd give it a three. Yeah. You know, uh, do I have to ask? Nah, did you tap it? You, we have to, right? Yeah. We don't want to break break tradition here. So if I, would I tap it? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't tap it. What about you? Uh, given given that it's very new to me, I couldn't say that I would tap it thus far. Um, if I had to go down the road and and, and, and get another couple rise under my belt, yeah. I, I would go back and, and kind of compare it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe give me a good baseline on, 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 on moving forward. Yeah. Um, because if I don't have any uh, moving forward what that I don't on? like, to me, go. again, the, then, the, then the value of this review goes up, in my yep. opinion. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, well, Belching Beaver Brewery out of Vista, uh, California. Um, this isn't going to be the last one we try. There's actually another that I was looking for. Uh, wasn't available, but given the fact that uh, I don't know, play on words again, uh, uh, coming out here uh, camping. Uh, my boy Gabe, Londo, Belching Beaver Review, Rabbit Beaver. Uh, give it a try. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time. Cheers.